It's always happening in Brooklyn. The Barclays Center, right in the middle of all the action. Welcome, everyone, to the last game of this outstanding season. A decisive single-game NBA final. This is Brian Anderson with Clark Kellogg and Grant Hill. And giving us the rundown from the sidelines, reporter Allie LaForce. Hey, Allie. VA technology is moving faster than ever. The new thing? Collectible highlights trading online. The players are taking notice. Shooting guard CJ McCollum said, quote, a lot of players are inquiring about it. I've grown closer to the non-fungible tokens, trying to figure out what moments I should buy. Guys, he's a believer. Boy, he is a big thinker, no doubt about that. Good reporting there, Allie. You take a look at the Bucks. Let's check out Milwaukee's starting lineup. And for the Nets. Goes to Milwaukee. Brown with it. Pass to Robinson. Brown with it. And he's going for the oop here. Save that one. I want to watch it again. Awesome. Virtually impossible to top that alley-oop. And there's the drive. Blocked. And it's out of bounds. The Nets able to retain possession here. How about that strong defensive performance for this half's mobile one block? Oh, you could feel the playoff intensity in that block. He's playing some extra aggressive defense out there. Williams passes to Jackson. Back to Williams. And the layup is good off the glass. Here's Brown. Pass to Robinson. Williams defense. 
defending. Stolen by Jackson. A little over a minute gone here in the first quarter. And there's the rejection. And here's Allen. And they pick up two. Boy, at the offensive end, his game is so impressive. I mean, he's a threat every time up the floor. Here's Jackson. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Once he saw the smaller defender guarding him, he took it right to the rack. Pass to Robinson. Defended by Jackson. Here's Baker. And Williams over to help. Five on the clock. And here's Brown for three. Gill grabs the board. The Nets have gone two of four so far. Here's Williams. Chance there to take the lead, but a miss. Pass to Robinson. Now here's Brown. Outside Robinson. Robinson on the wing. It's Brown on the wing. The Bucks need to get up a shot here. And that one's good. Well, I think this is the start they want it. Come out and put some points up early. Three or four so far. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. Pass to Cassell. Shoots over Brown. And that one's good. Cassell. Here's Brown. And here's Allen. To the paint. Shot clock at six. And here's Brown for three. That shot, no good. The Nets have gone three of six since the tip. Just under three and a half minutes elapsed here in the first quarter. Here's Cassell. Pass to Jackson. There's the three. Here's Williams. Oh, no good. Had a chance to take the lead. It hasn't been his best quarter. I mean, he's trying to shoot himself out of the slump. Here's Brown. Got a piece of it. And that's out of bounds. Milwaukee will keep it. Robinson passes to Brown. Five to shoot. Pass to Allen. Back to Brown. He tries the three. Sinks it from distance. Boy, like the energy and confidence Brown brings, especially from deep, where he's a dangerous threat to knock down these trays. Here's Cassell. Here's Williams. Yep, count it. Just owning the painted area. If it's working, no need to change. Now here's Brown. Over to the left wing. Allen on the wing. To the inside. Brown can't hit. Boy, this is um, bad. Tough to watch. I mean, this is really bad. He's stone cold this point. Man. And the Bucks pushing it up now. Here's Robinson. Lays it in without an inch of room around him. Robinson's gotten his second bucket of the game. Pass to Jackson. No good on the shot. Good work defensively by Robinson. Drives to the hoop. Laid it in with a nice touch off the window. 
Robinson's got six. In the NBA, you just can't let guys get to the rim. Here's Cassell. The shot from the low post is good. Here's Brown. Uses the glass on the layup. He's got five. And you like the balance here. Not just falling in love with the three ball. Pass to Gill. Here's Cassell, defended by Brown. Shoots from 12. Cassell misses. Milwaukee has gone one for three from outside so far in this game. Outside, Brown. Here's Baker. Outside, Robinson. Six to shoot. And stolen by Williams. Here's Cassell. Shoots over Brown. It's hauled in by Robinson. Usually, guys, he's going to knock that one down from there. Proficient at operating in that medium range area. Yeah, he just flat out tricked that one, missed it, and has no one to blame but himself. Harry's checked in for the Bucks. to Gill. Here's Cassell. To the middle. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. The simple bounce pass works at any level, including the highest level. Here's Perry. Now Robinson. The foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. So, Grant, what an opportunity for both of these teams. In the past, they'd both be in the offseason, but not this year. Nine and ten seeds who may have had some bumps in the road through the season, they get a chance here to prove that they have what it takes to be a playoff contender. Yeah, no doubt, B.A. The whole season has come down now to this one game. You win, you get a chance to play another game. You lose... Your season is over today. Well, we may just be in for a wild ride in this one. We've seen some incredible games since the play-in tournament format was introduced. It's a very unique atmosphere in here right now. And both free throws good for Robinson. New Jersey trailing here. Here's Kittles. Outside Edwards. Locks him up and hauls it in. Love the high activity level. Brown inside. Guarded by Edwards. In transition. Here they come. Shakes off strong. D and gets to the bucket for two points. Great teamwork on that drive punctuated by a strong finish. That is the perfect fast break, guys. Getting a hoop before the defense can get set. Pass to Perry. Just five to shoot. Outside, Brown. 16 feet out. Tried to bank it in, but it misses. Defense made an impact right there. Definitely got him uncomfortable going up with it. Can't cash it in from close range. Again, it's the Bucks missing. Pass to Edwards. Robinson with the block. Here's Perry. Now quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. That's tipped and stolen by Williams. Now here's Edwards. Back to Williams. Defended by Brown. 
And they're going to count that bucket, and they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. When you can make adjustments to the shot in mid-air and mid-stream and still knock it down, you know you're flowing. Tied up with that one. Timeout called. Milwaukee. For Milwaukee, they've gone 7 of 14 and looking in control. Here's Perry. Well, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Inside. Takes the assist and lays it in. Nice setup. And the Nets lead by two. All right, a look at how the hustle game has been going for the Nets. They've come out in full attack mode defensively, applying pressure and stealing it away repeatedly. The other thing that's helped them early tonight are the points they've been able to convert off turnover. One forty-nine left in the opening quarter. It's Edwards on the wing. Back to Williams. Clock at six. Second shot opportunity, and too long on the shot. Milwaukee has gone one for three from outside so far in this game. Pass to Perry. Now Brown. Here's Perry. To win the drought. They get the rebound. Goes back up. Got a piece of it. And we're going to have a jump ball. And New Jersey has possession. New Jersey leading. Pass to Kittles. Back to Edwards. Ball stolen. In transition. Here come the Bucks. There's 49 seconds left in the first quarter here. Down low. The ball's knocked loose. New Jersey with the ball. Pass to Kittles. The fader. Milwaukee with the rebound. Here's Perry. Guarded by Edwards. Here's Perry. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Six on the shot clock. Well, a good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. It's the Nets up two. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after the break.
And time for us to get back into it here in game one. And taking a look at the Nets' performance here, guys. What are your thoughts? Simply put, they look totally fearless on the defensive end. Well, you know, the defense, guys, is just disruptive, active, and energetic. And you can't afford to be loose with the ball against these guys. And for New Jersey, they're shooting just 38%. Their offense not where they want to be. Pass to Kittles. Just five on the clock. Knocked away. Here's McDaniel. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. Well, Grant, you mentioned earlier about how the play-in tournament format may show where teams are in terms of readiness for postseason basketball, especially at the end of the season, as opposed to just overall regular season records. And in 2021, we saw it play out both ways, with the Eastern Conference sending the 7 and 8 seeds right through to round one. The Wizards and the Celtics moved on. But in the West, Memphis's story as the ninth seed was quite exciting. It really was amazing. John Morant was sensational. The national spotlight on how exciting the Grizzlies team has become. A lot of fans might not have had that awareness without the focus on the play-in tournament. So on the floor for Milwaukee. Pass to Perry. There's the triple. The shot no good. Now here's Edwards. He's closely guarded. Gets the 14-footer to fall. Nine points in the game. And you know this year we may just see a 9 or 10 seed make it not only into round one as Memphis did, but maybe make it through and go for a deep playoff run. And to your point, B.A., it's going to happen at some point. I predict it. A 9 or 10 seed will make it to the NBA Finals in the not-too-distant future. Yep, I said it. free throw is good that one falls so he hits both of them the Nets have got two of three shots to go in the second And just about a minute and a half has passed here in the second quarter. Rejected by Brown. Pass to Newman. Here's Perry. Williams defending. Count the basket. And the Nets shooting just under 40% from the field. Up top, Edwards. Let's it go from 11. Doesn't go for him. Now the Bucks take it the other way. Brown inside. Working on Williams. A oh, nice shot by Brown. Here's Edwards. Pass to McDaniel. And here in the second quarter of action, just a hair under two and a half minutes play. No good from 11 feet. Well, that's a good player missing from point blank range. That's one you got to convert. That puts him in the lead. And guys, the way this defense is getting manhandled down low, you have to wonder if they're at 100% right now. Time called here. The Nets decide to talk it over. Yeah, they're hoping to turn things around with this timeout. Yeah, you know, they had to do something, anything to stop this run. You can't just let it go on any longer.
Second quarter play, almost three minutes gone here. Here's Cassell. And the layup is good. He's got six. He really hooked the defender with that pump fake. It worked to perfection. Back to Brown. Pass to Newman. Hey, expanding his range. Williams grabs the board. For New Jersey, they've gone three for seven here in the second quarter. Here's Gill. Looking for his first basket still in this one. And the whistle blows as the basket counts. Chance at a three-point opportunity here. One free throw coming up. And the free throw, no good. Milwaukee has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Pass to Baker. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. That close in against a way shorter defender, you could just put up two. And the Bucks making a change here. Robinson's checked in. For New Jersey, they've gotten four of eight shots to drop in the second. Here's Cassell. And the shot falls short that time. Milwaukee shooting around 44%. Not bad. Here's Robinson. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. All right, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for Milwaukee? Some great drives to the bucket for them tonight. Something else they've been able to do so far tonight is earn those tough points in the paint. Oh, free throw no good for Robinson. Yeah, they, they're really cashing in more at the line here in the second quarter. Definitely, that's one of the reasons they're in front right now. Here's Gill. Allen defending. Outside, Williams. Over Allen. Williams misses. The Bucks have gotten an impressive six of eight shots to fall in the second. Allen finds Brown. Here he goes. There's the block. Pass to Cassell. Jackson outside. To end the run. Got it. Two for five now. I like the play call. Very solid. Making perfect use of the pick to get a great look. Robinson with it. Oh, they get a hand on it. Stolen by Jackson. Here's Cassell. Defended by Brown. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. Sam Cassell is about as reliable as it gets, guys. I mean, he's an excellent scorer who does a nice job running the offense and doesn't shy away from big moments either. Now here's Brown. Five points in the game. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair.
And he can't get the first one. That one's no good. New Jersey leading. Here's Gill. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Yeah, Kendall Gill's athleticism and versatility are really solid. Of a guy who can play a lot of positions, and I think he's an outstanding scorer. He drops the first. Both good from the line that time. Here's Brown. He's got five. Williams defending. Pass to Robinson. Right side, Brown. Down to five on the shot clock. Looking to end the run. Cassell with a rebound. He just can't find a consistent way to score. And this team could certainly use it. And it's rejected. Outside, Brown. And again, it's the Bucks missing. For New Jersey, they've gotten six shots to fall out of 13 attempts here in the second. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Yeah, really left him no choice there. I mean, he had to foul and keep him from converting the easy bucket. And he makes a first. Hits one, then misses the second attempt from the line. The Bucks trail. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. And give them credit for making a more concerted effort to get to the line this quarter. Yeah, I like everything you said there, because when all else fails, if you can get to the strike, that's really a good way to change the momentum in the game, because you get points, and you also slow down the opponent because the game isn't going up and down as much. First one falls for him. You know, he didn't get to the line in that entire first quarter. But right now, he's showing some aggressiveness out there. And both free throws good for Brown. And for New Jersey, they're shooting 46%. Pretty good mark here in the second quarter. Outside, Williams. Pass to Jackson. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. And the former Buckeye, Jim Jackson, is a talented kind of combo guard forward, a three-ball specialist who adds some muscle and savvy and leadership to this team. Falls for Jackson. And 
And that's good as he hits both shots. That's what he does. Rock solid at the line. Milwaukee has gone 0 for 3 from deep to begin the second. Pass to Robinson. Good. And Brown gets the assist. Brown's got three assists now in this one. And their shots are dropping with more consistency now. Well, it was a slow start, but they've gone from simmer to medium heat, and they're bordering on hot to close this gap. Here's Gill. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. First one falls. And he can't hit the second. For Milwaukee, they've got seven of 12 shots to go here in the second. To Baker. Doubled by Jackson. And the ball is tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. Milwaukee with the ball. Outside, Brown. That one's good. This game is all even. Brown's got 10. For New Jersey, they've gotten six shots to fall out of 13 attempts here in the second. Outside, Williams. Pass to Cassell. And they waste no time getting those three points back. 12 points for him. Sam Cassell, fun to watch when he gets it going on offense because he's confident and efficient. He can score the ball in a lot of ways. The open shot by Allen. That one's wide left. With the defense absent, that was a great opportunity, but no go. Here's Jackson. Takes it inside. And the dunk by Jackson. And one move ahead of the defense. A solid pick. And then the monster dunk to complete the play. Well done. Boy, picture perfect teamwork that time, guys. One guy sacrificing for the other. That's how you succeed in this league. Now, here's Williams. He has six. So, it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Man, he made sure to get his money's worth on that foul. He got him good there. I mean, that's why the shot was so far off. First free throw is good. So it's both teams making substitutions here. Good on both. Milwaukee has gone just one of four from downtown so far in the second. Here's Perry. Pass to Allen. Inside. Here's Brown. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. And he just powered through contact trying to complete the play. Yeah, he almost got that one down. I mean, those are the kind of aggressive plays coaches love to see. That one misses. You know, it's been a bad day for them at the line today as a whole. And 
far too often that's the case for this team. And he's good on the second. For New Jersey, they've gone 8 of 15 in the second. Here's Gill. Nice D from Allen. The Bucks trail. To the paint. Here's Brown. And the jam by Brown. <laughs> and plays like that one can make the difference in a close game. And it definitely got the bench on their feet, too. Making a statement for sure. I mean, we'll see if they can maintain that aggressive approach, guys. Here's Cassell. 12 points for him. Count it. He's got 14. Guys, this has been an incredible performance this quarter. I mean, he's getting the ball where he likes it and wants it and just going to work. Here's Perry. Pass to Baker. Doubled by Jackson. Baker gets the bucket. Purely from a size standpoint, that is a mismatch that's going to be hard to overcome defensively. Here's Gill. Knocks it loose. Robinson with a steal. To the inside. Baker. Oh, and a beautiful feed leads to a monster jam. And that's got to hurt. A turnover for a free run at the rim. And now we know who has the momentum. You know, those kinds of plays can be difference makers. Game changers. Momentum shifters. Especially in a close contest where one or two possessions can impact the outcome. Here's Perry. Pass to Allen. Three-pointer. Cassell with a rebound. There's a minute 34 left in the second period. Count that one. He's now five for eight. Just make sure you keep getting him touches. I mean, you love what he's doing at the offensive end. Don't go away from him. Six to shoot. Here's Baker. 11 feet out. The shot, no good. New Jersey leading. And out of bounds. The Bucks will take it. Both teams will make substitutions. Fifty-five seconds left to play in the first half of basketball. Into the lane. Newman can't hit. The Nets shooting 47% on this one. Looking efficient. And that one's good. McDaniel. Five points in the game. You can really feel the momentum swinging in their direction. You know, they need to stay aggressive here. Build the lead up while they've got the chance. Don't waste this opportunity. Here's Perry. And we've got 28 seconds left in the second quarter. Baker. And it's flushed down. A nice jam. The ball distribution was there. I mean, outstanding work all the way around. Here's Kittles. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Clock at six. Pass to Edwards. Williams, and it's good. But hang on here. The officials may want to take a look at it on the replay monitor. Well, these teams are going to have to wait before heading to the locker room. They're going to bring out the monitor and see if he got it off in time. Ah, uh, yeah, the replay makes it obvious. I mean, he got that shot off in time. It should be an easy decision for the officials. Well, I can't see how they'd come to any other conclusion. I mean, we have a good look at it on the replay. The clock's still ticking when it left his fingertips. And after reviewing the play, it looks like they're overturning the call here. That basket is good. It would have been a real shame if those points didn't count. I'm so glad the officials were able to take... And so it's New Jersey, up by a healthy eight points at the end of the... The 2K Sports Halftime Show.
looking at the Nets. They wanted to get out to a fast start in this championship series, and their solid play in the first half of Game 1 was a big step in the right direction. These two teams seem to still be feeling each other out, though, so it could be anybody's game. And, big fella, let's get your thoughts on the home team. You guys know I appreciate when teams get to, to attack in the painted area. When you get those high percentage looks, good things tend to happen. That's how they built this lead. Kenny, what was your takeaway on Milwaukee? Ice cold. Bridges from beyond the arc. The question is now, can they shake it off and get back in the groove? Another option is compensate by going to the rim. And here we go. The NBA Finals continue here on 2K Sports. And New Jersey has possession. They lead by eight. Biggest lead of the game. And for the Bucks, That's good from Allen. On the assist from Brown. Brown's got four assists now tonight. And that's all the result of some good defensive awareness. Jackson outside. Defended by Brown. 11 feet out and he hits it. He's got five. Tough for a defender to challenge the shot when the height differential is so pronounced. Pass to Allen. Here's Baker. Williams defending. Baker gets the bucket. He's bringing a lot of energy to this offense, not letting the scoreboard discourage him right now. Boy, I tell you what, the hole would be a lot deeper if he wasn't being as efficient as he's been so far. Here's Gill. Allen defending. Gill, no. Milwaukee shooting it well, almost 50% for the floor. Pass to Brown. His first shot attempt. Again, Milwaukee! That's 10 straight points they've given up in the painted area. Huh. And you know, it doesn't matter how good your defense is on the perimeter if you're going to allow easy ones inside like that. Here's Cassell. Shoots from 14. Can't hit that one. No question, this offense has some firepower. <laughs> and they're looking very confident in all that they're doing right now. Soft touch off the glass. Keeping pace here. That's an excellent move inside. For New Jersey, they've gone just one of three in the second half. Here's Gill. Ooh, stolen by Allen. Over Williams. Allen can't get it to go. And that's their first miss after hitting four in a row to start the half. Pass to Gill. Well, we're into the third quarter. Just over two and a half minutes played. Here's Cassell. Shot clock at five. Driving in. It falls again. He's now eight for 12 from the floor. For Milwaukee, they've gotten four of their first five shots to go since the break. Here's Brown. And he banks in the layup. Brown's got 12 points. Very little resistance around the rim right now. That's the fifth straight bucket they've given up in the paint. Those looks they're allowing are almost automatic. Ooh, stolen by Allen. To the middle. Right side, Brown. Third quarter of basketball here. A little under three and a half minutes gone by. Using his size to full advantage. He beats everyone to the ball. Here's Robinson, and it's all tied up. He's got 14. But D hasn't been quick enough to react to the ball inside. That's helped cause this run. Here's Cassell, defended by Brown. And he got the whistle on the way up, so he'll be headed to the line for a pair. The officials were right on top of that one. Clearly a foul. I mean, didn't give him any choice but to blow the whistle. I mean... 
You got to play without foul. No good on that one. He hits the second from the line. They're ahead for now, but that miss could come back to bite them. For Milwaukee, they've gone six of seven and appearing confident in this half. Here's Brown. Pass to Allen. Good. And Brown gets the assist. Brown's got assist number five here tonight. Allen is lights out as a three-point shooter. Love how fast his release is. Staple gun quick. There's a touch of artistry to the floater. Takes feel as much as skill. It's Robinson, high post. Over Jackson. Robinson can't hit. The Nets have gotten three of six shots to fall so far in the third. Here's Williams. And blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. Now Brown. He's got 12. Back to Allen. 4-3. And another three for Milwaukee. And a look at how the hustle game has been going for the Bucks. You know, block shots, guys, a clear indicator on the stat sheet of their excellent defense. I mean, leaving them no room to get off any shots. Another thing, they haven't missed a beat on the fast break in either half tonight. Brown with it. Let's it fly. And he wills that one in, sinking it right through the back of the iron. Brown's got four points in the quarter. New Jersey's gone one for two from outside the arc in this third quarter. To the paint. Here's Williams. And it's blocked. Shot from the wing. Robinson can't hit. New Jersey trailing here. Here's Cassell. He's got 19. Shoots over Allen. And that one's good. Good sell. He's got 21. You know, that part of the floor, guys, is more or less his real sweet spot. Right in his wheelhouse. And here's Brown. He's got 14. Pass to Baker. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. He's got 17. Boy, he's playing out of his head, nailing everything. And the defense is scrambling to try to stop him right now. And so far, no go. Time called here. The Nets decide to talk it over. Here's Kittles. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Shoots over Brown. Second chance shot. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play.
And that one misses. Milwaukee has gone two for two from deep here in the third. Pass to Perry. Shot clock at six. Inside. Ooh, a two-handed power slam! Now that's how you use the screen right there. And it leads to a thunderous finish. That was nice. And, you know, not enough help from the defense there to compensate. He gets a clean look, and that's exactly how you draw it up. Baker grabs the board. Milwaukee in the lead. And that's out of bounds. Milwaukee will retain possession. And now another look at that mobile one block defensive performance. You know that block has him and his teammates all pumped up. That is what playoff basketball is all about. Down low. Here's Brown. McDaniel pulls it in. You know, you don't always get that opportunity, so those are the ones you hate to miss. Kittle. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. down the first one. So he gets them both. The Bucks shooting 53%. Good efficiency on offense so far. Here's Perry. Pass to Newman. Oh, it's blocked by Williams. Here's Kittles. Here's McDaniel. He's got five. And misses it off the right side of the rim. To the inside. And drive! with the stuff you have to be accurate there very little room for error passing on the interior pass to Kittles Williams against Brown six to shoot and here's Edwards here's Williams Brown with the block Guarded by Edwards. Pass to Baker. Brown with it. Here's Newman. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. The shake. And it goes. As the official calls the foul, count it, and he'll shoot one more at the line. Williams has checked in for Williams. Good. Brown. New Jersey's gone one for two from outside the arc in this third quarter. Pass to Edwards. Down low. Here's Williams. And he floats it in for the easy two. Credit the sweet setup on that one. Great timing and coordination. Lays it in coming off that pick. Out to the wing.
Here's Perry. He can't get it to go. Oh, good D by Edwards. <laughs> the battle of the boards has been something to watch. Yeah, tit for tat on the glass. Just one more aspect of what's been a very closely contested ball game here. Look at what he's doing here, and it's hard to imagine him playing much better. Well, that might be fair, but I wouldn't want to take away from what he did in that last game. I mean, let's just say it's a pretty nice run he's on, no matter how you decide to frame it up. And a breakdown here, guys. The hustle stats for the Nets. Their activity at the defensive end has been impressive. Attacking and coming away with steals. Yeah, I think you also have to give them a lot of credit for how well they've risen up to meet shooters to challenge shots in this game. Uh, a lot of blocked shots tonight. Baker. Here's Newman. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. This is the free throw. Good on the second one. They should be in front right now, but he'll be relieved not to have come up totally empty there. New Jersey's gone one for two from outside the arc in this third quarter. Back to Edwards. Deflected! Here's Baker. He's got 19. Oh, swiped away! And out of bounds. Milwaukee will have it. Milwaukee has gone two for two from deep here on the third. Pass to Baker. Williams grabs the board. Williams has got rebound number seven tonight. From seven feet away, Milwaukee with the rebound. To the wing, right side. Here's Newman. That one a little long. And for New Jersey, they're shooting the rock around 43% since the third quarter began. Outside, Williams. To the middle. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. They have no answer defensively inside. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now that they've allowed from point-blank range. Can't happen. Six seconds left in the third. Here's Perry. There's 14 seconds left to play in the third quarter here. Inside. Here's Baker. And again, it's the Bucks missing. With one on the clock. The shot off that time. And we've just finished the third quarter. What a tight game we've got going. It's the Nets. They're up by three. All right, we're going to step aside for just a second, but join us right back here for the start of quarter number four next. And now we have a moment to reveal our State Farm assist to the game. <laughs> Just a selfless decision from your two guard, showing his ability to get his teammates good looks. 
Yeah, and as a two guard, he's typically not a reluctant shooter, so it was really nice to see him orchestrating for a teammate instead. And we welcome you back as we head into the fourth quarter of this decisive play-in game. Poke loose. And they're running. And for the Bucks. Here's McDaniel. And the shot no good. A bit short. The Bucks trail. Pass to Baker. Missed the layup. He had him with the pump fake. New Jersey with the ball. Here's McDaniel. Here's Cassell. And it's going to be a three-second call. Boy, in a game this snug, you can ill afford to commit those kinds of turnovers. Here's Perry. From 12 feet, the shot's good. Oh, a really nice job to take what the defense was giving him there. And we played through about a minute here in the fourth. Here's Kittles. Robinson defending. Here's Cassell. Yes, and a nice assist from Jackson. 23 points in the game. Oh, nice feed. On time and on target. To the paint. Baker gets the bucket. With a tough road ahead, they worked hard to get a good shot. New Jersey leading. Inside. Banked it in off the glass. His playmaking is something to watch. Threading that pass right in there. Here's Perry. Another one falls for Milwaukee. That was not an easy move. I mean, especially against that length. You know, your assumption would be that he'd be at a big disadvantage in that matchup, but you'd be assuming wrong. They've now had assist on each of their last three buckets. The Bucs have gone three of four in the fourth and looking confident on offense. Pass to Robinson. No! They're unable to get the tying basket there. Here's Kittles. Jackson, right side. Here's Kittles. Allen defending. Six on the shot clock. Up again. Controls the rebound and the putback. And the Nets lead by five. And those second chance buckets are major bonus points if you can get them. Pass to Robinson. Oh, it's blocked by Williams. And he gets it back. Here's Cassell. Here's Kittles. It's Williams. High post. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Baker. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he'll sit the rest of this one out. <laughs> no debate there. He got hammered. Blatant contact. Straightforward call. Simple. And the first one at the line is good. And Williams drops them both. The Bucks shooting about 43% since the fourth quarter began. Pass to Allen. Takes the three. And a great assist by Brown as that one goes in. And this is just typical of him. Always making an impact at crucial moments in the game. You know, they want the ball in his hands here because they trust him to hit all the big shots. Here's Gill. Defended by Brown. And that one's good. Gill. We've seen that more than once today. 
an effortless basket inside. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. Pass to Brown. It's blocked. Yeah, another column in the stat sheet that hasn't gone in their favor. To climb back, they've got to put forth more effort. And breaking out the one-hand slam. Man, an emphatic way to extend the lead a little more. Yes, indeedy. Well done. Outside, Brown. Pass to Allen. And the basket is good. Allen's got 13 points here in the second half alone. This is a fantastic performance in this half. He didn't play as well in the first, but you know, you just know with this guy, he's always ready to turn it around. For Milwaukee, they've got five out of ten shots to drop here in the final quarter. Pass to Allen from the arc. Not going to go that time. And the defense got away with one there. I mean, that's the shot he typically makes. Here's Cassell. The fadeaway. Rebound, Milwaukee. Robinson's got his sixth rebound on the night. And here's Brown for three. And he can't get that one. Now the Nets take it the other way. To the inside. Nice dish. And the layup goes down. 24 points for him. I mean, they've been relentless. Just keep getting shots at the rim. Well, the defensive rotations have been a step slow. And it's really helped them get that ball inside time after time. Pass to Newman. Now here's Brown. Guarded closely. Oh, and Jackson with the block. I'll tell you what. They've been aggressive, and they've been physical. Well, they're working the glass, really battling in that area of the game, and that's helped them stake this lead. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. Boy, the defense looks shell-shocked. I mean, they're on the ropes right now, on their heels. For three, Robinson. That one, no good. Now the Nets take it the other way. Pass to Cassell. Here's Gill. Here's Cassell. Allen defending. Now here's Jackson. And all around the rim that time before dropping. And the Nets lead by 12. Timeout called. Milwaukee. Things just aren't going their way. He clearly wants to talk it over. And you know what, guys? If for nothing else, just to slow things down a little bit, change it up somewhat. And now we present our New Balance Player of the Game. Can you say vintage? <laughs> wow, this was a vintage performance. I mean, so much of the game is about the three ball today, but his focus was going hard into the paint and doing damage from inside. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Over that last break, guys, I got a chance to hear what the head coach of the Bucks said to the team. He called out their ball control, saying, quote, no more turnovers. That has to be the mindset. We need to stop rushing and start dictating. And Allie, thank you for that. Robinson can't hit. And right now, they're plus eight in the rebounding category. That's helping them run away with this. Yeah, double-digit advantage on the scoreboard. They've taken the initiative. They've played, I think, with more purpose so far. 
in. That one's good. Good sell. And looking to shoot as many threes as possible. This kind of confidence, impressive to see. Love the mentality there, I tell you. I know I've never coached, but man, playing to win and being aggressive even with the lead as opposed to being safe and going into prevent offense, I'll take the former all day long. Play to win. Lays it up and banks it in. And the Nets lead by 17. They're really dictating the tempo on both ends of the court. You love it. And don't leave out the coaching staff here now. I mean, their game plan has been perfect. Brown. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. down the first one. He's perfect from the line this time. They're finding a rhythm from the line as they try to cut into this deficit. Here's Cassell, defended by Brown. Cassell misses. Yeah, we're not used to seeing him get bottled up like that. Wow. Up top, Brown. Pass to Robinson. The rebound by Jackson. Jackson's got four rebounds in the game. Down low. And he converts the layup. 26 points for him. And they've really managed to dominate inside. The play in the paint has gone almost entirely all their way. To the middle. Here's Newman. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Want to score in the NBA? Picks can really force the D to make tough choices. Who poked away. Fades and shoots. Pass to Cassell. From deep three-point range. And they get it back. It's never easy from that distance. But we see him drill those and shoot around all the time. Well, that looked to me, guys, like a heat check. Uh, it was maybe a step out of his range. Here's Newman. The floater doesn't go that time. Yeah, that's another miss for him. They're behind in this game largely because he shot so poorly. Here's Cassell. And he gets the bucket. And the Nets lead by 17. And staring at a sizable deficit, the defense has to tighten up. And if it doesn't, this is only going to get uglier. I mean, that's no way to defend a player of his caliber. And Allen gets it to go. And he's coming off a huge performance, and his confidence couldn't be any higher. And his coach knows that, too. Showing no signs of slowing or cooling down. They're going to ride him as far as he can take him. Here's Cassell. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Absolutely ruthless. He's not about to start showing mercy now. Guys, when you're this hot, it's elementary. Let it fly. Keep staying at it. There's a minute 47 left in the game. Pass to Newman. Over Jackson. Newman can't hit. New Jersey's gone one for two from deep in this fourth quarter. Here's Cassell. Softly drops in the floater. Showing off with the floater game. Not a shot you can swat. Timeout called. Milwaukee.
rebound against Edwards. Outside, Brown. There's a minute 12 left in the fourth quarter. Keeps it alive. Great positioning on the putback. Great anticipation off the missed shot. Oh, his timing was impeccable. And if you're the defensive team, it just kills you to give up baskets like that. Here's Williams. Count that bucket. And the Nets lead by 19. Stepping up and nailing an important shot to put this away. And, you know, this run shows what kind of attitude this team has. I mean, the win is there. Go get it. And the basket is good. He got it to go, and he took the bump. So a free throw coming up, an opportunity at a three-point play. Forty-six seconds left in the game. Now here's Edwards. On the take. Blanketed by the D. He fights to the rim for the layup. They got a big lift from their crowd tonight, giving them the energy they needed. Boy, they've given their fans plenty to cheer about, that's for sure. Effort, skill, coaching, you name it. They've done it. And it's Perry missing. Boy, this could snowball if they continue to put up points. I can't say enough about their performance. Two seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Goes to the reverse layup and drops it in. His nimbleness makes him a unique threat at the rim. And that's it. A big-time win for them, folks. Securing their slot in the first round of the NBA playoffs. That's what you expect from a seven seed, and it's what they expected of themselves. You're right. I mean, they came in upset. Couldn't nab the sixth seed to avoid all this. They used that frustration, though, to ensure they wouldn't have to play another game in this play-in tournament. So that's a wrap for the first game of the NBA Finals. For Ali LaForce, Clark Kellogg, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson saying thank you for watching the NBA, brought to you by 2K Sports.